Nasdaq continues to be on a tear, as you saw, up almost 3%. And check out shares of Hologic. They're outperforming the broader market over the past year, up around 15%. And adding to those gains this morning after a beat across the board in their latest earnings results while also raising its guidance. Stock is at a 52-week high this morning. And joining us here on set in a CNBC exclusive, Hologic CEO Steve McMillan. Steve, uh, wonderful to have you in person. Thank you, Deidre. Thanks for having us. So what does life after COVID look like with so many of the companies, especially the ones we cover here on Tech Check, we saw a huge boom and then a fade or at least a reversion to the mean. Your revenue shot up. Your stock didn't. You approached the COVID boom a lot more balanced in a lot more balanced way. We did. You know, first off, we shifted all of our molecular production pretty much to COVID tests to help the world when they needed us. The magic for us, though, in that is we placed a whole bunch of Panthers, which are our instruments. And because we were helping out customers both in the U.S. and around the world, they all effectively said, hey, when COVID finishes, we're going to adopt more of your base business. Mm -hmm. And so what we tried to do both with Wall Street as well through that time is we said, don't value us on COVID. This is unsustainable. And frankly, for the world, we want it to go back down. Mm -hmm value us on our base business. And in fact, our base business has come out so much stronger because we placed all these Panther instruments, which run our molecular panels around the world. Right. So you guys were more balanced. But at the same time, you are starting to see that business. Panther, you mentioned those are the machines and these are highly automated machines that do the COVID tests. They're being used for different reasons. At one point, investors, Wall Street thought, OK, maybe these are going to be mothballed after COVID because they were primarily doing COVID tests. What kind of tests are they doing now? What's the opportunity? Sure. We have been the world leader in women's health assays for sexually transmitted infections, chlamydia, gonorrhea, vaginitis, HPV testing, all standard tests that, that women need especially. And so what happened is those went down early in the pandemic, but those are now all coming back very strongly. And we've placed all these additional Panthers. so We've been able to get more business. And what was happening during the COVID spikes is our base business would go down because customers would stop running those. They'd run COVID. People thought our base business was potentially getting weaker when, in fact, it was getting stronger. And now that's becoming clear as COVID is going down. So that's sort of the short term opportunity. I wonder if you think further out um, COVID led a lot of people to pay more attention to their health. And so how does that translate longer term beyond maybe women's health? Health or the tests that you're doing now um, for your business, but also the healthcare industry at large. Yeah, it, it's funny for you to have us on Tech Check because I think technology is so key to being able to continue to transform. And I think we're still in the early days. If you think about two big things, one is image quality, right? The earlier we can detect cancers, the cheaper it is for the healthcare system to treat, the far better it is for the patient. And if you think about breast and cervical cancer, they're eminently avoidable, right? People should not be dying. There can be a world someday when women are not dying of either breast or cervical cancer because you've detected it early and through better imaging and through AI. So all of the stuff, you know, you hear about AI every, mm -hmm. and, you know, and you see it clearly in, you know, the metas and all the other companies. But it's also profoundly still in the early stages of healthcare, where it's going to be able to it's, it's image detection. Yeah. And so much of AI is about image detection, and that's what we can do. Instead of people looking through, you know, microscopes, being able to digitize it and look at it that way. So there's so much exciting stuff yeah. that, again, if we get early stage detection, it's cheaper and better yeah. for everybody. And that's the magic ahead. And it's ahead. That, that pattern recognition, right? And certainly healthcare is one of the most interesting spaces for AI. So remember Watson Health, um, but some really interesting stuff happening right now, including on your front. Uh, Stephen, thank you so much for being with us. Hope to see you again soon. Great. Thank you, Deidre. Carl, toss it back to you.